Her bride price was not paid. There was no church wedding, only court wedding. And now the husband is using it against her. I want you to listen to her voice message and advise her on what you think that she should do in this matter. Okay? Your advice is highly needed. She's reading your comment on the comment section. After listening to her, drop your advice on the comment section, please. We need to put Martin in this matter so that peace will reign. Thank you so much. Listen to our voice message. I'll get back to you. Good evening, sir. Uh -huh. I've been listening to your program on Facebook and how you handle some people's um, issues. So I, I, today I was just like, let me check if you can be able to help me handle this mind because it's really bothering me too much. So I met my husband in, let's say, he's my husband now. Let me just say, I met my husband in 2017. During that 2017, we went for introduction and something happened because he was supposed to pay my bride price that 2017. But due to something happened, he did not do it again. So when we get back, because I was already pregnant, so when we get back, we have to do court wedding. So after the court wedding, we have one pro um, project we are doing at hand. We are building house then so he was like when the project is true that he's going to go and pay my bride price so you know there's no how a couple will stay together that there will not always be issue so the this is almost going to four years now it has never been easy so i've had another baby that was last year august i had twins after my first child i had twins so there are not three kids now it has not really been easy things as as in each time we always have misunderstanding and each time we have misunderstanding he will remind me that i should know that he did not pay my bride price that is anybody that he wants to marry that he's going to marry so that i should not bear in mind that he's going to marry me that is anybody that he wants to marry that he's going to marry so i will not even remind him that we even remember that we did court wedding as in he did not take that court wedding that we did as anything so they say that sometimes we, as in it, it does come to the essence of sometimes violent but i don't i don't just know what to do this 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 my um, husband i'm telling you i love him so much and i, I really don't know, know what to do in this case i'm really fed up and i do not want to let these children that i have let them stay without a father and me personally i'm even fed up with the fact of begging always and the funny thing is that he he's, he's, he can humanize though he has not bring anyone home but he used to both when he's calling them both video call and all that he used to do that to my face and he's really getting me fed up because i hate someone that is not faithful i hate it very well and he's doing that very fully well that i love him so much and he's doing all those things just for for him to look for me is to chase me out of his house most of the issue we always have is always about women, women, women. As in, we don't really have much issue like a, a, a normal issue, if not because of women, women, women. The way he calls women and all that, and the way he sends money to them and all that. That is the mo majority of the issue we used to have. And I don't have, know how to handle that now because it's as if it's out of hand. Since anytime I talk about that woman thing, he would tell me that he did not pay my bride price so that I do not have right. To tell him what to do that is anybody he feel like he wants to marry that he will marry thank you so much for your time okay for listening to her voice message please advise her drop your advice on the comment section and don't forget to share this video because someone must learn from this someone need to learn from this drop your advice share this video and don't forget this is house of the sons global see you next time